Hey, today we're making the pan grilled salmon and we're topping it with a mango salsa. We're having our sides will be zucchini, roasted zucchini, and roasted sweet potato. Now I've rinsed the zucchini as well as the sweet potato, just drying them off just a bit. Just want to let you know that the sweet potato will not be uh, peeled, so you don't have to worry about that. We're just going to cube both the zucchini, zucchini as well as the sweet potato. So here I'm just cutting off the ends of the zucchini before I begin to cube that zucchini. All right, all the zucchini has now been cubed. I'm just gonna place it in a bowl and set it to the side. All right, let's move on to the sweet potato. I mean, this was this this recipe will be in the description box. All of the recipes will be in the description box. But the zucchini and the sweet potato was very simple, and I'm telling you, very delicious. In fact, I couldn't decide if I like the sweet potato over the salmon, and you know, salmon is my favorite. Now I've got the wrong knife, but. <laughs> So as you see, it was really difficult to cut. So I ended up putting the sweet potatoes in the microwave just to soften them for about, I think about 10 minutes. And when I open up the sweet potato, you'll see the steam coming out. Those potatoes were really hot. So um, now I just did that for the video's sake because otherwise I would have set them aside and let them cool. Now we're preparing to get that skillet ready for our sides, which is the sweet potato and the zucchini. I'm using a cast iron skillet. We're gonna place them in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. We want the skin of the potato crispy. So about 45 minutes, but just check it, you know, to your liking, okay? Like I said, this recipe was very easy. I just put some salt and pepper on the zucchini and the, and the potatoes, and I've never had salt and pepper on sweet potatoes, but it was delicious. As you see, I had, um, I really, for two, one potato and one zucchini would have been enough. So I had some left over, which I'll have for dinner at another day. Just sprinkling some black pepper on there and slid that right in the oven and let that cook while we prepare the mango salsa now here's a I don't know how you slice your mangoes but this is something that I learned you just slice that mango on the side and then you can um, cube it you just um, you'll see in a second where I'm just going to slice it, make several slices, it was real easy because I've tried mangoes before and just struggled with them. So then you just turn the mango and continue to slice in the opposite direction. You can start to see the uh, squares now, the cubes. And then you just slice the cubes right off of the the peel. Now it probably would have been a little easier if I had it just placed it on the counter and kind of uh, sliced it that way. Alrighty, now we're going to um, dice the jalapeno pepper. Now be careful again with the pepper and your bare hands because Your, your hands will get that oil and they'll be spicy for a while. Be careful not to rub your eyes. All 
All right, so we've finished dicing the jalapeno pepper. We'll put it in a little dish and we're gonna set that to the side. As I mentioned before, we are preparing the um, ingredients for the mango salsa. That was the red pepper and now getting ready to um, chop the cilantro. Okay, so now we'll mix all the ingredients together. We just put the uh, pineapple, no, we just put the mango in the pineapple bowl. Give it a little stir. Next, uh, we'll add the red pepper. And then the red onion. That red onion is just about um, a fourth of a medium-sized red onion. I really don't have the hard numbers on how much to put in. I was just eyeballing it. So in the description box, I'll just list the items, but you use your own judgment uh, how much you wanna use. The jalapeno peppers went in next. Give it a little stir. Okay, now we get ready to add the cilantro. Stir that. Yeah, that looks so good. I probably should have used a larger bowl. Okay, now we're gonna add some lemon juice to it. Uh, you can use lime if you prefer. I didn't have any lime in, lime in the uh, refrigerator, so I have plenty of lemons. So I just used the lemon. It came out good. One more stir. Make sure that we get everything in the bowl. All right, now you put a little cellophane on top because we're gonna place this in the refrigerator and let it chill while we continue to prepare the salmon. All right, now what we're getting ready to do is make the rub for the salmon. This is kind of a Spicy rub, mm, so delicious. So the ingredients to the rub calls for chili powder, paprika, cumin. I'm only using. I'm showing you here. I'm only using a teaspoon of each ingredient. Garlic powder, onion powder pepper, salt, and cayenne pepper. Just, you know, I just wanna add caution to the salt, your salt intake. I try not to use salt much. And as I mentioned, I'm trying to stay away from oil, so I did use some oil, some non-stick spray oil. But we're gonna mix all the ingredients together and give it a good swift stir and set it to the side. Pepperito.
ground cumin. So I switched to the half a teaspoon so that the spoon would fit in the um, container. And I used two one half to equal one full teaspoon. A little tight there. We're going to mix all of those um, ingredients together. Oh, that's good enough. All right, now we're preparing the salmon. We've set that rub to the side. I've rinsed the salmon off. Um, I've just let it rest for a little while in the refrigerator before preparing it for the grill. Um, just make sure that it's uh, dry so I just patted it with a paper towel now I'm going to score the skin so that the skin doesn't shrink up during the cooking process here I'm preparing the skillet with um, the non-stick spray oil Get that skillet nice and hot so when you put that salmon in, uh, it will cook. So I'm just letting you know that uh, skin side is down. I love to see those grill marks. So you're going to cook the salmon, like I said, start out beginning, cook the salmon skin side down for about five minutes. And then you're gonna look on the side of the salmon to see if it's starting to turn a little white. See how I've lifted it up? Now, if it's two thirds white, that means it's time to turn. That's about five to seven minutes on each side. Yeah, I got that cast iron uh, grill at Aldi's. I think it was like about $16.99 or something like that. Um, so now I'm applying the rub on top. You could you could put the rub on before you on the skin before you um, begin to cook it. But I just wanted to see the grill mark, so that's why. I um, didn't put the rub on that side, on the skin side, just yet. Ah, oh, let's get ready to turn that, baby. Oh yeah! Look at those uh, grill marks. Ah, uh huh? Little lifting of the skin. looking good so here I'm going to put the rub now on the skin side
trying to adjust the camera so that the smoke or the steam from cooking doesn't go directly into the lens of the camera. Getting ready to turn it over for the last time. Those grill marks, don't they? Aren't they beautiful? They are so pretty. I think I'm taking the side dishes out of the oven. The zucchini as well as the sweet potatoes. Ooh yeah, look at those. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm excited because I mean this meal was very delicious. I hope that you're able to try it. Mm, mm. This is definitely a keeper. Definitely. Alrighty then, I'm getting ready to close this portion out and we're going to start the mukbang. Welcome to Healthy Living with Ms. Renee, the barber, and... Hey, it's Tyler. <laughs> hey. hey! I got my buddy back. Alrighty then, you know the routine. Uh, let's go over some housekeeping rules. Please hit the subscribe button. The notification bell as well as share share with your co-workers family friends as well as comment I enjoy every single comment that I receive if you can't write a sentence just send me a heart I appreciate it and don't forget the like button alrighty then so today before we get started eating let's just go ahead oh no we've got a um, you got your water. That's what I need to ask you. Do you have your water? All righty then. I got a little swig in here. So this is a healthy living channel. So what we do is we always start out with a swig of water. Um, if you don't have your water with you, hit the pause button. Go get your water. And when you return, we'll be here waiting for you. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Let's take that squig together. Alrighty then. <laughs> so um, today we're having salmon. Uh, we're having grilled salmon with um, mango sauce with roasted potatoes and zucchini. Alrighty then. So let's bless the food before we begin. Alrighty then. Alrighty. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. We thank you for each and every viewer, all the comments, and those that are staying with us, and those that are new. We ask that you add a hedge of protection around them, keep them safe and strong through their process. And we ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Alrighty then, let's get to it, Tyler. All right. Tyler, Tyler, do you like salmon? I do. It's like one of my favorite foods. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. 
You know, I keep saying I'm a raw, I eat raw food, but you see, I've been eating seafood, so I don't know. What is that called? A pescatarian? What is that I, called? A pescatarian. A pescatarian? <clears throat> okay. So, um, I, I, you know, I'm just really trying to lose weight. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm trying to do. So, we'll see. Mm, mm, mm. I hope you guys can see our food. Mmm. This is a new recipe. That I'm trying. Mm. Anybody? Mmm. I'm going to focus on this food. Oh, it is good. It is good, yeah. huh? I don't think Tyler's just saying that. <laughs> um, mm, that's good. Yeah. And what kind of sauce is it? Um, the, 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 um, mango. Oh, okay. Mm hmm Mango sauce. It has a little bit of pineapple, red pepper, cilantro. You saw, you saw it in the beginning of the, um, video. And the, the skin of the, the salmon should be crispy. I don't know if yours is still crispy now, but a certain part should be still crispy. Yeah, I'll go dropping some. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I do this, honey. <laughs> so sorry. <Yeah. laughs> Because this is a, I wore this pink um, top for breast, I mean not breast, but cancer awareness uh -huh. month. And I just got it. And now I dropped some, some food on it. You got some spice on it too. Mm -hmm. A little bit of kick, right? Mm-hmm. Got a little bit of jalapeno pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the salmon, it's good. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not too, it's not dry. You know, it's good. It's flaky too. I like flaky salmon. <clears throat> Oh, it's gonna be going fast. It's gonna be going fast. Mm -hmm. You make sure it's okay, already? Right? Oh, it's good too. Let me sweet potatoes. I haven't even tried those yet. Tyler back you know he's been very busy the last few weekends and um, next weekend you you won't be with us either I am gonna uh, be gone going to DC uh -huh. my plane leaves uh, Thursday morning oh it leaves Thursday morning mm -hmm. you're leaving from um, Midway oh uh, yeah so that's the closest one I like the planes um, from Midway when they're, when we're returning home. Uh -huh. They fly over the city of Chicago. Oh, yeah. That's always nice. That's nice. That's a nice view. <clears throat> I showed that on a previous video. Uh -huh. Homecoming. Um, Howard's Homecoming Part Two. A view of the city. An aerial view of the city of Chicago. And that was taken on my my uh, trip home from visiting my daughter. Do you guys have anything planned to do? Uh, I think Ella got all the plans together. 
and I got to figure it out when I go. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope that she was able to get tickets to the Black Historical Museum. Well, oh, yeah, she did mention the museum. She did mention that? Uh -huh. Oh, okay, good. Good. Did you guys make it downtown last time you were there? Uh, I think we went downtown. That was downtown, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was nice. We mm -hmm. rode the scooters. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Man, that's a big thing in D.C. Mm hmm I don't think it's that big here in Chicago, is it? I think they just started it. We just got them. But I it's only in certain neighborhoods. It's not It's not downtown Chicago, is it? Um, I don't think they got them downtown yet. But I think they're going to start moving over there. I mean, those uh, scooters, they're electric, right? Mm -hmm. Electric scooters and... Uh, is that a, I don't know if that's an electric bike. You kind of, kind of pedal it. But it's real big there. I mean, everybody was doing that everywhere. Yeah. And then when you're finished, you just leave it. Just drop it off wherever you are. And it gets you across the city fast. And it does. Uh -huh. And those were provided by Uber and Lyft, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Of course, I was going to start out on the scooter, but I felt like I was going to fall. Oh, yeah, they, they kind of dangerous. <laughs> Cause Cause they, they move fast. They pick up speed real fast. Mm hmm. You got to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Man, this baked potato is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a mm -hmm. roasted potato. Roasted sweet potato is good. You know, I'm just trying to eat healthy, change the meal so you don't get bored with it, you uh -huh. know? And um, I don't know if you can tell, but Tyler's uh, feeling a little under the weather. Oh, yeah. The weather changing fast. It's flu season. Yeah. You've been dressing? dressing uh, I actually haven't because it changed so fast. And I just thought, you know, it was casual. I just go outside with my hoodie on. But now I started bringing my coat with me. Just having it in the car or something? Yeah, I bought it with me now. So oh, okay. Yeah. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you right now. I am not lying to you. These sweet potatoes, I've never had them like this before. Oh, it's good. My God. Roasted in the oven, cut up in cubes with some salt and pepper. I never had salt and pepper on my sweet potatoes uh -huh. for number one. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Have you had them like that before? Because this is new to me and I'm certainly enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one I like better, the sweet potato or the, the salmon. No, they both real good. <laughs> I looked over at Tyler's I don't know if you can see it. Hold your plate up, Tyler. <laughs> it's almost gone. Man on man. Man, this is good. Oh, yeah. I have to keep saying myself. So, Tyler, the last time you were here. Actually, the last time you were here, we were having a seafood boil. Uh-huh. And, um, it was B-Love's um, Smackalicious sauce. They had just launched the spicy one. I picked it up. I'm waiting for the appropriate time to have a seafood boil. We had the seafood boil. And um, Be Love Life, she ended up uh, subscribing to my channel. Oh, yeah, I heard. Yeah, yeah. it was, was awesome. Awesome. Um, and so uh, I'm just excited about that. And I'm just really excited about all the viewers. Um, as far as my view counts, everything is looking good. I want to thank you. I want to thank each and every one of you, okay? But I was bringing that up because the, 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 well, that particular video, Tyler and I were so excited about the food that we did not turn oh, on the yeah. sound. And I had said after that I was going to have a checklist to make sure we were doing everything before we actually sat down to do the video. But 
the one prior to that. But no, was that the one you were talking about, the silent party? Oh, I forgot. Uh, I think it was. I think that was the video. Okay. So, I don't know. It was interesting. It's something interesting to me. I don't know what my um, particular age group is on these videos. Oh. But I do know that myself, as a mature woman, I had no concept of a silent party. So, Tyler, can you, because it didn't make sense yeah. to me. Why would you go to a party to be silent, you know? Mm -hmm. So, can you explain what a silent party is? Uh -huh. So, pretty much, when you get inside the party, they give you a pair of headphones. And it's three DJs probably on the stage or just in the building. It's like... And the headphones they change colors between like blue, green, and red. So you do, can, they, do they have lights on them to let yeah. you know like it's blue? Yeah. Red. Okay. And it's obvious, so you can tell what other people listen to also. Okay. So, all right. So they change the headphones between blue, red, and green, and the three different DJs they all playing different songs, and so pretty much whatever you in the mood to listen to, they probably got three different like genres of music, and you can see like what other people listening to. And somebody, sometimes they may play a popular song. You may see everybody switch their headphone to see what they're listening to. But it's real fun. So how do you know if they're playing a popular song if you're listening to something else? Because you can see, like, the colors. There's going to be colors all throughout the room. You may see, like, a whole bunch of people on the red with their headphone. Oh. Uh -huh. So you may, like, look like, oh, I want to change mine to red. Oh, I see what they're listening to. Yeah. Now, before you were saying... They even dance, so I don't understand how you dance. I don't understand how you dance with headphones on. You just do it. Because they still playing music in the headphones. So it's just not out loud, out loud. Plus, everybody got the headphones on too, so people feel more comfortable. Because everybody got them on. And it's, and it's a very popular? It is, it's popular. It's everywhere now, I think. Because who started that? Where do you think it got started? That I don't know. Mm. I think I first started hearing about it like two years ago. Or, yeah, around like two years ago. Mm-hmm. So it's at a regular venue, like a uh, um, like a, a club or something they like could, that? Yeah, at a club, a bar, any type of place like that with space. But no one's really talking with each other. Oh, you can. You can just, uh, if you want to say something to somebody, you can just lift your headphone up, talk. You can cut the volume down, cut it back up. Okay, so it gives you an opportunity to not just listen to one DJ. So you can, it's a, so you can go to a venue and have a party, uh -huh. and if you don't like what the one DJ is playing, you got two other ones you can listen to. I don't know who came up with that concept, but it's popular now. Uh -huh. It's cool. I like them. It's popular. So it so it takes the place. I'm thinking like, you know how like if you went to a party, if you let you went to someone's house for a party. Uh huh. In the living room, they playing one song. In the family room, they playing another song. And in the basement, they playing another song. Uh -huh. But you don't have to like go from room to room to room to uh, room. You just you, play it all in the same spot. And 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 the I'm assuming that the um, headphones are wireless. Oh yeah. Now, how much does that cost to go? Oh, it's cheap. It's not that much. You can probably find one for like eight dollars or ten dollars. And that's at the door or Groupon. You can get your tickets on Groupon. Or like Eventbrite. Eventbrite, okay. Uh -huh. You just buy them in advance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know. They didn't have, well, of course, they didn't have um, that sort of party when I was younger. Ooh, that was good. Now that is the ice water lemon that I'm drinking here. Let's see that. I don't know if they can see it against my I'm gonna hold it over here. It's the ice water. <clears throat> it's the lemon ice water. 
You thought finish, Tyler? I did finish. It was good. That was that was good. <laughs> I don't know. What are you trying to say, Tyler? Okay. I just like so I like seafood a lot. Okay, so let me ask you this: Out of all the meals that we've had so far, which one's been your favorite? This one. Over the seafood boil. Okay, the seafood boil was good. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, salmon just so good. Okay. What? Okay. Well, uh, oh yeah, this is salmon. Now yeah. this is the sec second time we. No, no. This the this is the first time you and I have had salmon. Uh -huh. That I did a uh, what's it called a mukbang mukbang, mm -hmm. um, by myself, and I had the salmon mignon. Uh huh. That it was. I smoked it on the Weber smoker. Uh -huh. But okay, yeah. So the seafood boy. So you okay, like? Seaf yeah, seafood boy was real good. I think I gave you a variety of seafood. Uh -huh. And your favorite seafood. Oh, yeah, that's true. Which was the um, crawfish, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But, um, so, what about the black bean burger? What you, what you think? Okay, I forgot. Okay, I, I remember we had two burgers. One was the black bean, and one was like the. The um, mushroom. Mushroom, okay. I think I like the mushroom one better than the black bean. Okay. Because I like mushrooms. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, Anytime I get a chance to eat salmon, I always get it. Uh, the mushroom burger? Oh, no, I'll no, say what? I'll say anytime I get a chance to eat salmon, I always order it. Oh, okay. You like me. That's how I am. When I go to restaurants and whatnot, because um, I've never really been a beef uh, eater. Uh -huh. So, yeah, when I, go to, when I would go to the restaurant, I'd always get salmon, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So, well... We probably should close this out. Mm -hmm. I may have a little piece of salmon on my plate here for tomorrow's lunch. I don't know. <clears throat> Let so. Alright, so we'll just close out. I appreciate you guys stopping by, mm -hmm. visiting this channel today. Tyler, I'm so glad that you were able to have mm -hmm. dinner today. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope that everybody's enjoying their Sunday. So, I'm going to drink, as I always, drink a little water before I hit my bottle of water. Today we tried something a little different instead of having the food up. You could just see our plates. Let me know if you like that better. Someone had asked, well we can't, someone had asked me, we can't, I can't see what you guys are eating. I can't see your plates. So I wanted to show you our plates. <clears throat> and again, again. These sweet, this is my last bite of sweet potato. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to. Let me tell you. I got a little, I, I really should have um, calorie counted the this meal, mm -hmm. which was zucchini and the um, sweet potatoes, the salmon, and then we had the pineapple mango sauce. Count all that together. I'm going to try to post that when I edit this video but um, I have certainly enjoyed this meal I hope you try it let me know if you've had these sweet potatoes before these are so delicious alrighty now let's go ahead and close out uh -huh. um, you know what to do let's get it in hit the subscribe button the notification bell Share, comment, and hit that like button. Uh oh, you ready for your water? Uh huh. All right, then. Here's the healthy living. Let's go.
find 